Greetings everyone, Fru here. Welcome to the demo hub. I am excited today because uh, we're going to be talking about a fascinating announcement from Claude. This might put us on the precipice of something very profound about to happen in the space. And if this catches on, think about how revolutionary HTTP, HTTPS was for the dawn of the internet. We might just be at the same type of of a precipice for something that profound. So without much ado, let's jump into the demo here. We're going to talk about the model context protocol. So this is a new protocol from the folks from Anthropic. So Anthropic is a company behind Claude, which is a very popular, if not the most popular, well, kind of close there with the chat GPT from OpenAI. But in terms of performance, Claude is uh, way, way, way up there. Uh, what is this? This allows the models to talk to one another. So it's a common protocol that allows, say, a Claude to talk to, let's go over here. If you have like a model Claude uh, and you want to talk to search, we all know Claude doesn't have search. You want to give it access to internet search. How do you do that, right? If you have uh, a file system or your local machine, you have a Google Drive and you want the model to have access to your Google Drive and manipulate files or to databases or to SQL for analysis or to knowledge bases, Slack, GitHub, you name it. Well, how do you do that today? The industry really hasn't had a common protocol to allow these models to be that powerful, to really be the agents that can go out and do work. There have been attempts around this. ChatGPT now supports internet search. U.com has internet search, but it's kind of piecemeal. It's not really a common protocol that is comprehensive and standardized across the different uh, models. So what MCP promises to offer is you would have Claude as an example. You can pass Claude to do internet search for you, which today it doesn't have that. But with this protocol, you will see how easy it is to uh, have internet search and you can choose what kind of internet search it has. I think this is why it's even more fascinating than the chat GPT, which gives you a generic internet search and you really don't have much control over that or your Google drive or GitHub, which your code bases, committing code, creating branches, doing pull requests, all of that could be managed by uh, Claude if sent out, if set up correctly. So this is the background of what we're going to uh, build here. And that's why this model context protocol is so powerful. And if you haven't paid attention to this, this is something that is coming, at least in my purview, in my perspective. So let's go in. I think we've spoken enough. Let's do a demo. Now to do the demo, let me set the stage here. If you're familiar with Claude, if I come in and ask a question like, what is the price of asking the question of what is the price of Bitcoin today? Now, this is something that obviously Claude will not answer as of today making the video because it doesn't have internet search. So if we try this, you would see it should come back and hopefully complain that I apologize. I can't figure that out. I don't have internet search, right? Now you might say, well, for just go over to chat GPT. It has internet search, but that's not the point. We're trying to prove how to make this work here in Claude. So it doesn't have internet search. The next thing we're going to want to do to make this internet search enabled using MCP is to go over and download the Claude uh, desktop. So if you are on Mac, you want to download the Mac version. If you're Windows, download the Windows version and get that installed. Now, I already did that, so I'm not going to do it again. If I go over to my browser, you have my Claude desktop showing. But there are a couple of things you're going to want to do. I'm going to leave all the scripts here so you can follow along as well as an issue you might run into. And if you run into that issue, what exactly the issue is so you can get it solved. So let's go back over. Assuming you've had this downloaded, let's check that. Download Claude. Let's skip all of those. So what you're going to want to do is go over to a browser, copy this exact command and open up a terminal. Let's get the terminal open here. Zoom right in, paste that. So this should open up this directory for us. We want to be in this uh, particular directory. Now in this directory, what you're going to want to do is create a file, create this file, exactly the same name called Claude underscore desktop underscore config the JSON. You can do it manually, right click, create it, or you can just do a touch and create the file. I already have it created. If you don't, go ahead and run this command. So let's check both commands as uh, executed. 
Now, once that file is created, there is something that we need to get set up in, in that file. It's a JSON uh, configuration to tell it what MCP to use. We might want to interact with GitHub. We might want internet search. We might want the knowledge. So in this case, let's set it up first with internet search. And we're going to use the Brave internet uh, search. Right click this, open this up with your favorite editor. That JSON file should open up. In this case, I'm just using a very basic editor here. What you should have in your uh, config file should be blank for the first time. I already got this set up, but for you, your first time would be blank. So that is not a problem. Now, what you want to do here with the internet search using the brief, the brief uh, search browser would be to get this specific MCP. So this is exactly what the MCP is. Let's go back over. We're going to go into, and I'm going to leave links to this in the description below. You want to go into the model context protocol servers. There are different servers that are supported as part of this. If you come back in here, here are the feature servers. You might interact with your file system, help to create repositories and manage that. I'm going to do different demos on, on this, depending on the amount of puppeteer, Google Maps, Brave Search. So Brave Search is what we're interested in. Go ahead, open that, scroll down to Brave Search. Here is the config that we need for setting up Brave Search in your cloud desktop or configs. Copy this exactly the way it is. That's what you're going to paste in here, right? So I did that already paste in here. Now, once you paste this in here, you, your key will not be exactly the same as mine. Go over to Brave Search and get access to this key, which I got already. Once you log in, grab your API key. This is essentially adding a new API key. It does require a subscription for this to work. So go ahead, click on that. You can do the free tier. It still requires a credit card. Putting a credit card is zero dollars, but they still require a credit card for that. So once you have that, add a new API, give it a name, grab the key, and here is your key. Again, I'm going to delete this key right before uploading this video. Copy that key, bring that over, and this is the key uh, that gets pasted in here for your cloud desktop config.json. Now, once you have that, save it, and then you can launch the cloud desktop application. It takes a few seconds for this to launch. Once this uh, launches, you would see this uh, little icon here with two showing that there are two available MCPs. Click on that. It does show us this brave local search and brave web search. We now have access to the web search from inside of cloud running locally. You don't have this on the web version. It just works on the local version because this is where the MCP is running. So if I go back with the same question we had before, which was go back into this, the question we couldn't get an answer to here, which is what is the price of Bitcoin? Bring it to the desktop version. Again, remember we have the MCP here. We now should get an answer that shows us what the price of Bitcoin is as of today. Because a brave search is going to be reaching out and doing a lot of things to web and potentially updating files on your desktop or committing things to Git. It does allow for high fidelity approvals for that. So here you might give it permission once for brave to do this action on your behalf, or you might say, do it, uh, allow this for this entire chat. So let me do it uh, for this entire chat. Now it's uh, firing a query uh, and it's going to use that um, MCP, which is essentially a tool. And this goes out, it does a web search. I'm not sure if this value is correct, but it comes back with a value of what the Bitcoin price is today. So now using Claw, you have access to the web search. And I think this is fascinating because you can connect different types of search. I could go with Brave Search. I could go with Tabuli Search. I could go with I mean, you can imagine as this is just too new, there are going to be so many, uh, I want to call them APIs, but they really, they are more tools that will be coming online and being part of this MCP protocol. So the question is, if you have a tool, does it support the MCP protocol? And as soon as tools are supporting the MC, MCP protocol, they become available or accessible. If you set this up for the first time and you keep getting an error, or cannot connect MCP to uh, server, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have node installed because this MCP is actually a server. Make sure you have a node uh, installed. Use brew or do a brew update. Once you're done with that, you can do a brew install node and that should be easy. I'm going to leave all these comments uh, here below in the description so you can copy that as well. So that's a common issue 
and it's very easy to take care of. Install Node and then restart uh, your Cloud Chat desktop version. I think that's an easy one. Now, what are some of the available MCP protocols? So if you go back in here, you would find there is quite a bit of servers that are available and they're so easy to set up. Let me show you a very good one, which is GitHub, right? If you have GitHub and you want to do file management, all you gotta do for GitHub is come in, copy this, include this in your, so you're gonna wanna come copy this, bring this over, just illustrate how easy this is. Bring this over to your file, this below. Assuming that we replace this, get your personal access token from GitHub, very easy to do. And voila, you can now start asking this to create branches, checking code, check out code, add comments, whatever you can do in GitHub, you can potentially do by just simply chatting in your cloud chat experience. I think this is super powerful. I'm going to do a demo on this in the future because people might really want to see this particular demo, but let me know guys in the description if you want to see that demo and I'll try uh, to put it together. What else is there? File system. You can manage files on your local desktop too, as well using this. You gotta be really careful, especially if you have your machine and you're going to be deleting files and moving files around. I would want to test this very well before letting it lose on a very important machine. So there you have it. It's very promising. I think we're still very early. If this protocol catches on, you can see a lot of tools coming online supporting this protocol. And now we have this interconnected web of frontier models being able to access all these powerful tools they don't have access to today. It, it's just mind blowing seeing how fast this is all moving and even trying to keep up with it. It's a job in itself. I feel lucky and glad to be able to do this and grab some of this uh, information and share it with you guys. Again, links to all of this will be in the description below. Go out, try it out. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. As always, this is Fru with Demo Hub. Thanks for watching and sticking to the end. I'll see you in the next demo.